Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today is Monday and on Monday we show our makes for the past week or so. But because last week was Mary Maxim week and I didn't have a chance to show you anything I made in the previous week and because I have things that I made for Mary Maxim week that we are going to cover as well. There is a lot here. There's a lot more here than there is normally. So, because of that, Mr. Cinnamon is texting me and, uh, <laughs> we have to go order a corsage for Juju's prom because that is coming up. I have made so many things in the past two to three weeks. Some of these are from Mary Maxim, so we will show those and re-show those. Um, some of them are Easter things that we do every year. Um... Some of them are just fun things that we made. If I could figure out where I put everything. I didn't even gather it all. It's all over the room. There's so much going on today. <laughs> Let me grab things. All right. All the things. All the things from all over the room. All right. Now, as I said, Mary Maxim week was last week. Um, we also had some very stressful events in our lives in the past two weeks. That anxiety gen tends to um, overdo it when I'm anxiety ridden. I keep my hands super busy. I crochet super speed, um, trying to kill down the, you know, craziness in my head. <laughs> so there was a lot of that happening on top of tutorials and all of that good stuff so I'm gonna start with a bag I have a bag of makes right here we're gonna try to get to the bottom of it so I show you all the things that I have finished or made start to finish this there's a lot some of these I started weeks and weeks ago like my octo here <laughs> he um He's been in the bottom of the bag with stuff on top of him, so he's a little misshapen. But I got this yarn from Ollie's. It is a red heart yarn, and um, I made a giant octopus. And nothing really spectacular, like he's a ball, kind of. And then I used felt for his eyes, and he's got eight tentacles. And I had some left over, so I started to make a little one. And then I ran out of yarn. <laughs> so I had to finish him in a different yarn on the bottom, but he's got an eye here and an eye there. So that's the baby, the mama and the baby. So we made, we finished the big octopus that I started up easily over a month ago. It's been a while. It's, it's been a long time. I started him and then I never finished his legs. And then I made the baby start to finish this week. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, <laughs> but I made them. And then um, we went thrift shopping, and this was a couple weeks ago. It was like two or three weeks ago. And um, at we went to a new thrift store. It was a Goodwill up north. And um, I went for the purpose of just seeing if I could find any yarn. I was going to make a video, and I didn't find a whole lot. But I found some big giant balls of loops and threads yarn. And this yarn is like a number seven. So it's really super thick. And they had three balls of it and it was on sale for like $1.99. It was $1.99 each at the Goodwill. So I bought the three balls. Two of the balls were in these end colors and then the one ball was this brown and blue. And so I was like, that yarn is perfect because I have yarn like this from Hobby Lobby Clearance that is the rug that Bentley sleeps on under my desk. It is the exact type of yarn. It is a super loose roving yarn that is like this thick around. Makes beautiful rugs that the dogs adore. So I made this to fit inside the kennel because they have crates. So this is a crate mat for one of the crates. We have two crates. So this took me all of maybe two hours. <laughs> and it's just, I think double crochets with a 15 millimeter hook. 
So if you got any of that really big, super bulky yarn from Hobby Lobby or anywhere, um, like I said, this was loops and thread. I actually really like the colors of this every time. Catches my necklace. So now the dogs have a new um, mat for their their dog crates, and they they love that kind of stuff. So now I can actually use that. And then uh, that's all Mary Maxim. I was sent Ice Yarns macrame cord in Happy Mail, and I didn't really want to do macrame. Right now, I'm I'm trying to do simple, easy, small projects, um, mostly crochet, just because that's what my brain really enjoys when I'm high stress. So I made these baskets. <laughs> which I think are kind of cool. So it's just granny stitch in the round, but it's like the the peak. And it kind of looks like a pineapple, right? <laughs> I think it's so cool. Um, I just designed this out of my head. And then if you want, you could fold it down for extra strength around the edge. And so this took two, no, maybe, no. This took one of these, one of these from Ice Yarns. I have three left. I used one for this basket. And I used one and a partial one for this basket. This basket is the same kind of design, it's just bigger. And so it just holds my yarn. It's like a, a basket for yarn, okay? It's like a big yarn bowl. And this looks cute sitting on my, my desk and it looks cute sitting on my bookshelves. And so this is actually a softer macrame cord. This one is much more rough polyester feeling, plasticky almost. And this one is soft like a material. So this would be better for like rugs or something you're gonna put your body on, but it still worked out really, really nice. And I love the colors. So made those two baskets in between. Those were in between projects. Those were in between, between all of the Mary Maxim things. So, <laughs> um, move on to the Mary Maxim items that I made this week. Oh, before we get started on the Mary Maxim, every year we dye eggs for Easter. Mentally kicked the door. It was not happy with where it was. We dye eggs using like the basic food dye kits, right? And there's always dye left over because. I, how many eggs you really need to dye, right? So we dyed just enough eggs to make deviled eggs for dinner. And um, we actually were almost out of eggs anyway, so we only had eight eggs, I think. So I think we dyed eight eggs, which was fine. It was just enough for Easter dinner and then have deviled eggs left over the next day for breakfast or whatever, right? And um, when there's dye left over, I always dye some of my yarn. And so I pulled out some of the yarn. Now, this pink is not food dye. It is actual acid dye because Juju mixed the pink and the green trying to make watermelon and made this god-awful color. And so I was like, really? I was going to use that pink. Come on. <laughs> like, So I had to go pull out some of the pink that was in my, um, my actual dyes. And I dyed these two skeins of Superwash. And this one is green, blue, and purple. And the, the purple actually broke quite a bit, which was strange. It broke into pinks and blues. So, and this is really soft and beautiful. And then this one is really pretty. It's pinks and yellows and orange. But I used two different shades of pink in here. And like you can tell there's like different shades of pink. It's really pretty. I think my light is too bright. That light was perfect for uh, when I was filming on my camera, but now it's just like blowing everything out. So these are my Easter egg dyes, and I always do this every year for a memory. On top of dyeing these, I caked up <laughs> almost all of my hanks of yarn. I mean, there's so, so many. So I have roughly 90% of my cakes hanged up and ready to use. 
These are all, well, they're mostly high-end yarns. I fought the, um, the yarn winder a little bit. I fought it a little bit, and I, I probably... I, I hanked up at least 60 hanks of yarn. At least. This is Malabrigo. And now they are ready to use because one of my goal this, goals this year was to use up the good yarn. To get it on my hooks and needles and actually use it and to stop saving it for something. So I have two plastic bins. One is this size and one is a much shorter size closer to this size right here and they're filled jam-packed with cakes that I caked up from Hanks either my hand dyed yarn which I have quite a few or LYS or Hobby Lobby LYS stands for local yarn shop little yarn shop um, some of them are Malabrigo some of them are Lion Brand some of them are Hobby Lobby some of them are hand dyed from small dyers um, flying I think it's flying goat farm I really like um, but now they're ready to be used. So I'm considering that uh, something I made this week because it took me several days to get through all those. And I did that while Bentley was in the hospital to stave off the anxiety and the worry. And so that's how I kept my hands busy because I could not concentrate on a project, but I at least kept my arms going and doing and sometimes fighting it. But I'm going to tell you guys right now I showed this in a previous video and some lady got really snotty with me she's I'm not buying what you're selling lady uh, first of all I'm showing you guys what I use as a tool this is so much of an upgrade from my last one and even though I had trouble a few times I got through those it didn't make a lot of noise it like it doesn't make noise when you spin it let me connect it first it doesn't make noise when you spin it. My other one was so loud and ratchety. And for every single turn, this thing turns four times. So it worked up fast. It got the job done. I am in love with this thing. So that is in my favorite things video, by the way, if you're curious. It clamps to the table so it didn't move. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry, Bentley. I didn't need to drop that on your head. I've been waiting to dye my hair for weeks now, and I just cannot seem to get the time to do it. <sighs> okay, so aside from that, um, we've been making Mary Maxim projects, which is all the tutorials we did last week. And you've seen all of these already, but I wanted to reshow you because these are part of the makes that I have made this week. So we have the Mellow Spun. What I call this? The Rainbows and Sunshine Cardigan or Shrug? So I made, I made three of these in total so far. <laughs> this one is entirely in mellow spun yarn. So I made that one. I made the rainbow one, which is prism and mellow spun. This one is like so stinking cute. I really just love color. I love color. I like the yellow one too, but this makes me just feel extra pretty. So I made this one. And then um, Thursday, on the day that the tutorial actually came out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make these with my cinnamon people. <laughs> so I pulled out some of the hand dyed yarn that I just caked up. Now this is Lion Brand hand dyed. And I mixed it with some of the white that I have down there that was supposed to be dyed. Um, but I never got around to it. I haven't weaved in the ends for this yet. but And this also needs to be blocked. Because once it's blocked, it will close a little bit better. But this is the Lion Brand hand dyed that they don't make anymore. And then this is... Uh, sheep, 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 sheep from Red Heart. And it just, it keeps wanting to spring back. But it does fit. Look at that. I got a waist again, guys. <laughs> and then this is the back. 
Now I got a lot of compliments when I posted the picture of this that they really like the, the detail on the back. What happened, I made this longer than all the other shrugs. So the other shrugs come to about right here and this goes to my waist. It goes to my waist, almost to my hips. Um, so when I was making this, I was like, yeah, I'll pull out two hand dyed skein. I thought that would be enough. I forgot I was making it longer. It would have been plenty if I made it short like the other ones. And I ran out of yarn. I was like, okay, well, this part's not wide enough. So I did the white in the same stitch and it gave that beautiful lace detail on the back. So if you want that same look, just add a different color earlier while you're still working this stitch. And that's how we got that beautiful lace detail on the back that I never would have thought to do before because I was like, okay, that needs to be different stitches so there's separation, no. So I wanna make another one just like this. <laughs> and some more hand dyed yarn and maybe use a bigger hook so that it's more open and like flowy or use a skinnier yarn. So that is my third Rainbows and Sunshine shrug that I made from Mary Maxim Week. This one's probably my favorite just because of the color. See, isn't that beautiful? It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. But it does need to be blocked. Because there is a lot of um, elasticity str springing the uh, stitches like extra tight together. Like it shrunk as I was making it. And that's just one of the things with wool. And then the other really big project is I made this beautiful, fuzzy, beautiful campfire. Is that the campfire wrap, I think I called it? I get confused. Like, I hate the names of stuff. Like, it's a, a wrap to be around the campfire. So I think I named it the campfire wrap. So I finished this. I am in love with this yarn. I want to make a blanket out of this yarn. And I probably want to make a corner to corner blanket out of this yarn. Um, I have a blanket upstairs that is made out of homespun that is corner to corner and it is one of my favorite blankets. It is so soft and fluzzy, fluzzy, it's fluzzy, warm, and it reminds me a lot of this, except this, these stitches are easier to see. I just really like the way that that purely soft yarn worked up. And then you guys saw we made the apron. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything except it's a fun apron because like we don't want to be doing our chores. We don't want to be gardening. Well, some of us love gardening. I love being outside. But we don't want to be doing the chores like the dishes and stuff. And like a lot of people are like, I'm part of the wet belly club, which sounds so weird. <laughs> but if you know, you know, right? So you're doing the dishes, your tummy gets wet because like you got to bend over the sink or like you got a big tummy. Like it's, there's no shame in any of that. So this is to protect you, but it was also a lot of fun to make. And so we made that and then I made the matching do-rag to go with that. I'm so proud that I was able to make all of these things through everything else that has been going on in my life. And then we got the fingerless gloves in the sun, the sunrise yarn. But I had enough left over. By the way, I painted my fingernails for the first time in a very long time, we think. <laughs> I had enough left over to make the Lavender Forever hat to Toru to make a matching hat. So, am I glamorous or what? <laughs> I had so much fun with these tutorials. For some reason, I put a lot less stress on myself for Mary Max and Week. I still put a lot of stress on myself. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting there right at the table last night and I was like, Mary Max and Week was doing so good. I had so much fun. And because now we're past the part where I'm stressed out. So I forget that I was so stressed out. And I was like, maybe I should pick another yarn company and do another week, you know, like. And Mr. Cinema is like, you need to stop. And I was like, what? He's all, you get so stressed out. It's so much work on you. He's all, you need to stop and rest for a little while. And then I looked and I was like, no, you're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> like, I am out of my mind. I need to rest. I, so we're going to rest, but. 
I really had fun with these tutorials. I really did. I love Premiere Week. Premiere Week is something we do every year, but this is our first ever Mary Maxim Week, and I had never tried any of these yarns before Mary Maxim Week. I've had them. Some of them I've had for a while. Some of them were sent to me by Mary Maxim, but I had so much fun working these up just designing just playing with the yarn and discovering what i loved about it maybe some of the things i didn't like this yarn was a little tiny bit splitty but it was not even to the level of like karen simply soft splitty for the way i crochet so i think it's a matter of finding the, the right hook that goes with this yarn but this yarn was so luscious i bought more of it and it's the sunrise from mary maxim so i made a matching hat and now I'm like, okay, but now I need purple gloves, right? <laughs> to go with the original Lavender Forever hat. Because this colorway, and this is the Lullaby yarn, is so beautiful. And it's so soft. Mm. I just love it. I just love it. Alright, I have one more thing that we made that you guys have already kind of seen. And that is the purse. The Jada and Stitches uh, inspired purse out of the yarn from the dollar store. I have so much of that left over and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I really liked making this purse. I still haven't really looked for my tags or found them, but one of you were like, hey, you're on, because I have tags with cinnamon stitches on them, and I wanted to put one on the purse. And I was like, I don't know what the heck I did with them. And one of you were like, I'm pretty sure it's in your drawer. <laughs> and I think you're right, but I haven't looked. <laughs> <laughs> or I haven't looked thoroughly I should say so I was laughing so hard and then I told you last night I was like yeah one of my cinnamon buns was like hey um I think your tags are in your drawer and she looked at me she said that's really weird I was like no I probably mentioned it in a video but I mean if you're an outsider that does sound really weird that somebody knows where your stuff is in your house but <laughs> it made me laugh <laughs> I was like it probably is in that drawer I know that I put it in there at one time but I, there's there's stuff piled all over my desk once again um, from working. It's like my work stuff is on my desk. Like I put the patterns on here that I'm going to be doing with Nancy from She's Got Yarn Tube. She doesn't know I'm participating with her, but I am. Um, and I got notebooks from... <sighs> when I'm designing patterns for... Um, and these are all empty, ironically enough. I pull out all my notebooks when I'm designing and I write down all of my notes and my pattern. Here's the one for, I think this one's for Premier Week. Nope. This one is for baskets. Not basket baskets. This one has my notes for today's videos. Things I was supposed to show you in this video. Two macrame baskets, a dog mat, two shrugs, well now it's three, the hat and gloves, the apron and do-rag, the purse, the wrap, and the octos types too. Oh, I did it. I showed you all. I made that list like three days ago. But usually I have these notebooks on my desk and I write down my notes as I'm designing in them and I write down my little graphs and like designs and what the shapes should look like and all that stuff. And then I also bought myself a new, this is not a planner, but it's made from Happy Planner. It's a guided journal and I bought this for my mental health because the past couple of months have been hard between all the life changes and just things that have been coming up this is a self-guided journal it was clearanced out for 10 bucks and these run for like 30 to 40 dollars and it just my word to focus on this week so for this week um i think i just want to focus on calm or peace that would be my word pep talk for myself this week when I write in my um, my planner I always write little notes like keep going you got this or I write um, take time to rest this week I always write notes for myself of what I'm feeling when I'm planning out the week my morning reflection what can I add to my physical wellness I need to get outside and walk with the dog probably what can I add to my emotional wellness I need to take time to breathe <laughs> my mood today what am I enthusiastic about today where do I feel peace evening reflection mental exercises that help me today um, 
and it's Mickey Mouse themed and it was ten dollars was clearance out so I bought that because I think that will help me on days when I just need to uh, have my thoughts out you know and then I also got happy planner stickers from Joann's I paid full price for these but these are Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and they're brand new set and I had a 40% off coupon so and they were only $26 so I got them 40% off of that which was a really good deal because these things are ridiculously stupid expensive for stickers but I wanted these because these remind me of the good years when I was a teenager um if you guys don't know the, the poo thing hey Mr. Cinnamon's home So, um, when I was a teenager, all the clothes that were available for fat, fat people were either purple or they had Eeyore on them or Winnie the Pooh. And my mom kept assigning Winnie the Pooh to me because he's chubby and I hated that. And so I became very off put by Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. I've always loved Winnie the Pooh. I love Tigger, like a lot. Like Tigger is my man, right? And so I'm trying to come to terms with the criticism of Winnie the Pooh to just loving him again and just allowing myself to love Winnie the Pooh and despite the fact that like the whole fat stigma right so I bought these stickers for my journals and my planners and um that kind of stuff is all over my desk <laughs> and my mirror and my sunglasses just weird random stuff so I need to clear off some space so I can dig through my drawer and see where those dang labels are at so yeah with that I know this is a much shorter um, Monday makes than normal but that's because I, I took the blog part and I put it in a separate video over the weekend so that everybody knew because otherwise that video would have been like three hours long if we mixed everything together and I knew that going in so I split them up so if you want to watch the blog part that it was Saturday's video. If you want to see the makes, that's today's video. We only made it, we made it in under a half an hour. So that was fantastic. So I am gonna let you go. I'm gonna go with Mr. Cinnamon to order Juju's corsage for prom, which is coming up this weekend. My baby's going to her last prom, her last high school dance. She's gonna be so beautiful. She's a little bummed out though, cause um, Everybody in the house except Little Man is kind of eating the same way that I eat. And so she's lost weight and now her dress is a little bit baggy on her. I was like, well, we're just going to have to figure that out. So until tomorrow, we'll be here for Tuesday tea and probably happy mail because I did get some happy mail. Um, hi. I will see you in the next. You want to say hi, Bentley? You want to say hi, Bubba's? He's all, no, pick him up. Come here, baby. Look, he turned around so you could pick him up. Little stinker. From. Hello. You gotta put him in frame. Me and little Ben Ben. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.